inspire, empower, grab your girls and soar a little higher, unlock the fire in you, cause real women don't bitch, no, real women don't, 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 bitch. Hey, 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 thank you for joining me on the Real Women Don't Bitch podcast. This is your proud host, August Crenshaw, a.k.a. Mrs. Raw, Real and Relentless. I am the number one advanced mental conditioning specialist for entrepreneurs because building mental muscle is necessary in order to implement successful business strategies. This show has been created for the woman who is not excuse driven and needs help building a profitable business. I will be interviewing women from various fields who are willing to break the silence on struggles that specifically affect female entrepreneurs. Welcome to a show where I and guest speakers from time to time share our methods that help us beast our business no matter what is going on in our lives. Whether you are an online or brick and mortar business owner, this show is for you. We will hit every angle, personal, professional, and spiritual. Why? Because on any given day, you get hit with shit from a scenario involving one, more, or perhaps all of the above. It all impacts you and your mindset towards your business. I have made it my personal mission to provide a space where we dive deep into the BS we face on a day-to-day basis. Bada boom, bada bing, what's up ladies? I'm letting you know right now that this is one of those segments where it might get intense with my language because I'm gonna be straight going off on somebody. They not even in the building, but trust me, if they tune into the podcast, they know I'm talking about them. It makes me think about a podcast episode I did a while back called Professional Hot Mess. But anyway, so the title of this one is... Why do you let her treat you like shit? Really, really, really basic question. Why do you let her treat you like shit? Okay, simple, right? What am I talking about? And what in the world does this have to do with business? Well, first of all, I got to explain something to you. I'm about to say something about personal people in your life, your personal circle, Even though your personal circle should include other entrepreneurs, what a lot of you have to deal with is changing your circle. So you have people in your lives that are non-entrepreneurial. They aren't necessarily very supportive. And I know a lot of you will even be around the people that you love so much, but you won't talk about your business around them because you know that it drives them crazy. So you'll dim your light and you won't talk about who you are, what you do, even though it drives you crazy that they never talk about any dreams or any ambitions and they don't change for you. So I think I put my opinion out there in a very strong manner. So here's my problem. I work with a lot of women and when they're talking to me, you know, in the beginning, there's, there's this, yeah, you know, I'm excited. I want to get out here and I want to do what I'm supposed to be doing. Great. Let me hook you up. Let's talk about your ideal client. Let's get your packaging together. Let's get your prices on point. Yeah. You ready out there to let you ready to go out there and let the world know you exist. And then there's this hesitation because whether it's their aunt, their sister, cousin, friends from college or high school or whoever it is, if I go live where my audience is, then and they're going to see me. They will have an opinion about what it is that I'm doing. And I'll always end up finding out later on when they have payment issues that such and such happened and they just had to be there for this person and help that person. And this individual is not on fire for their dream. Yep, you know, you know what I'm talking about, because whether it's like I said, auntie, sister, cousin, uncle, brother, you know, friend you went to school with and you've been friends with for 10, 20 years, you look at them and you look at how they are, they, they'll, they'll promote a concert, they'll promote a movie, they'll promote some stupid video on, you know, Facebook, share all kinds of crazy ill stuff. But when it comes to you and your business, they don't really care. Not only do they not care outside of business, 
What a lot of you learn is that a lot of people that you've had in your life, they've been using you all along. They could see your brilliance. They knew your brilliance. They actually were kind of hoping that you didn't see it because they've been taking advantage of you. And that's why they're so uncomfortable with you and this new worth. And so when women work with me, they start realizing like, dang, such and such throw shade at me. They promote everybody else, but they don't promote me. And it's not like they can say, you know what? I'm just going to cut that person off. And I'm the kind of person that I will. You know, if you do something that's kind of shady, I don't necessarily like it. Maybe I'll unfriend you on a social media perspective. If you are someone that I'm connected to outside of social media, then I will distance myself from you. But if you get too crazy, if you the epitome of a ratchet friend, meaning that you just disrespectful to me and mine, I will block you. I, I will make sure that you have no access to me whatsoever. You better, you better glean from this podcast. And so when I talk to women, I'm like, girl, why don't you just block her? Or why don't you stop talking to this person? Or why don't you just let them know I'm not even mad at you, but you know, we can't do these kind of things together anymore. I get these comments where it's kind of like, yeah, I guess, you know, I hear you, you know, but one of the things that I'm really, really dealing what is the fact that you know I, I I just want to be patient with her and you know she's going through a lot and you know I'm not certain but in the meantime in the between time she's treating you like shit I mean she's literally treating you like shit now what in the world does this have to do with the business part of things so I have this client and every time I would turn around she had these financial woes now disclaimer she decided <clears throat> That she had heard the voice of God and it told her, he had told her to leave her job. I was like, uh, boo-boo, you building a business that um, <clears throat> people don't usually run to. Now, I understand that you are a trendsetter. I understand that you're peering into the future. You're a visionary. But there's going to be a slight uphill journey to build this business up front with her from the beginning. And so she would come to me and she'd be crying because her money wasn't right. And all of these people that she always gave money to and gave a helping hand to and stayed up on the phone with all night, didn't have anything for her. They just told her, oh, girl, you strong. You'll be OK. You'll get out of it. And then she would reach out to me and she'd be so upset. And so in the beginning, she got that coach that was like, girl, I understand. I feel you. I've been there before, but we got to talk about boundaries, yada, yada, yada. You guys already know where the conversation goes. And she would always be so resistant. And one of these individuals, you know, I was just like, look, you need to shut it down. And for the life of me, she wouldn't, she wouldn't listen. And I like, this goes, this kind of ties into that one episode where I said your coach, you know, is a human, not a God. If I keep telling you what it is you need to do and you keep on doing the opposite thing, you're not going to get emergency coaching calls from me. You're not going to get the random, how you doing? I know how you doing. You're doing like shit because you keep on letting shit stay in your life. And so she and I had had a really difficult conversation. One where what she wanted, she wanted me to be like, oh my God, your life is so hard. Things are so miserable for you right now. I feel you and I feel so sorry for you. you want me to pray for you she wanted one of them she wanted a sucker conversation and what she got from me was okay well you knew that this was coming because of all of the decisions that you made even though you made all of these decisions we ain't got time for me to be judging your ass so how about you do this 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 or did you think of something now I can't do this well what about this 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 now I can't do that well what about this 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 now I can't do that I said you know but you gotta know I can't for anything even with me making up all of these different things it hasn't triggered anything in you to say what's possible and so needless to say I last and unfortunately it was the last call that she had with me because of when she terminated services she could have stayed with me but instead of staying in a program that I had she was like this is gonna be the last one I was like, eh, eh, okay so that's what it is well guess what she and I ended up having another conversation because of something else that was going on between us and when I reached out to her she wanted to give me the business because I didn't ask her how she was doing. I only wanted to question her about, okay, well, in the meantime, in between time, you still in this contract with me. What, what are you going to do? Let me know what the real, I'm going to honor my contract because that's what I signed up for. But I'm trying to understand why the first question out of your mouth wasn't how I'm doing. Now, this whole podcast episode is going to begin to make sense. It always confuses the shit out of me. 
how individuals will let people that have been in their lives for years treat them like shit and pause on letting them go. And I don't care if you paid me or not. I guarantee you as a coach, I always show up with more coach than you paid me money. I don't care even when you're paying for my highest tier because I believe in raising the bar and blowing people's minds the way I present myself. I will always be the queen of delivering in such a fashion that I provide the wow factor. But out of nowhere, you could call yourself, now you want to get big nuts. Now you want to check somebody. Boo-boo, your idiotic ass is checking the wrong person. You checking the person that actually, even though your business was an uphill journey, had you selling books, getting paid at events, and actually getting people to opt into your uh, classes and uh, your, your courses and so on and so forth. I'm the last person that you should be getting an attitude with because even when you were shitty with me and I was volunteering my time above and beyond when you needed it, I already gave and showed you compassion and love. Matter of fact, the one time I did reach out to you and say, are you okay? Your response was, I'm doing good. I'm still building. And so I can't stand the mind of fucking ladies. You're not going to survive in business if you keep on being a hot emotional fucking mess. It's just not going to work. You need to take that stuff and you need to shove it. And what happens is you're exercising displacement because where you should be checking people and letting them know what it is, you're not. Where you should be checking people and letting them know what it is, you're not. And you have got to stop it. So why do you let her treat you like shit? But then all of a sudden you want to get balls with the person that's actually showing you more dedication and love than anybody else that you've ever known. Check yourselves, people, and make sure whether it's coach or mentor, your new circle of entrepreneurial friends, are you being impatient with them because of all of the shit that you've dealt with with people that you thought were supposed to love you? Are you giving people that really care about you and happen to latch onto your vision a hard time? All because you've already been betrayed by others, but you got to take some accountability and let it and realize that you allowed yourself to be betrayed. And just like you allowed yourself to be betrayed, you got to fix that shit and you got to allow yourself to be supported. You have to allow yourself to be loved if you're going to make it as an entrepreneur. So I don't know why you let her treat you like shit, but for the ones that's got your back, my advice to you is you need to stop it. So there it goes, you guys. Um, I want to put a link in here for those of you that are on Facebook. Come follow me. Come join the Business Mastery Facebook group. Stop stalling, y'all. People's lives are changing for free, for freaking free. Come and join us in Business Mastery. It's going down. We're getting ourselves set up because guess what? Another announcement. Yep, I know we're only in May, but get your calendar ready because at the last, the last week of September, the Real Women Don't Bitch Summit is coming back. Woo-wee. Yes, indeedy. You heard me. Yes. The, the birthing point of this bad boy is coming back. The is anniversary time, y'all. So the last weekend September of September, uh, the Real Women Don't Bitch Summit will be back. Be prepared to grow and go despite all of the emotional, traumatic, sexual, abusive, whether that's spiritually, mentally, physically, your embarrassments from bankruptcies, abortion, slash, whatever, since whatever it is that keeps you from showing up in a, as the full version of yourself, we tackling it all at the summit. So I'm excited to uh, see you all there. Be looking forward to more announcements as we continue to go along our way. And uh, in the meantime, between time, I'll holler at you later. Deuces. Thank you for joining me today. Remember to cultivate a mindset that is biased towards taking action. No bitching, whining, or complaining. Here our mantra is, real women don't bitch, we get shit done. See you next week as I continue to bring you what you need to keep your head in the game and beast your business. Don't forget to hit subscribe and leave us a five-star review. Would you like a specific topic covered? Have a question you would like answered live? Then head on over to realwomendon'tbitchpodcast.com. Subscribe to my email list. Hit me up and I got you. Interested in being a guest speaker? You walk the walk? Then you can sign up on the website too. This is your number one advanced mental conditioning specialist for entrepreneurs, Mrs. Raw, Real, and Relentless. Signing out. Deuces. Inspire, empower, 
Grab your girls and soar a little higher Unlock the fire in you 